Jason, what were those emotions like on that final touchdown drive? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I think I've been here long enough for, you know, y'all to understand just what that means to me. And, um, you know, the things that I've been through, the things this team has been through, this program has been through, um, you know, this school and, and this state, um, you know, it's just – means everything to, to, you know, get that win and, and against that school, um, you know, in that fashion is, um, you know, it's just huge for us. How did you stay poised after that second interception? Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know, I've, I've made mistakes in the past and, you know, I've learned from those mistakes and, um, you know, just try not to repeat the same, you know, dumb mistakes that I have in the past. And, um, you know, I think that's just my main thing this these these past two weeks is trying to focus on, you know, recovering when I make a mistake. What was the cel celebration like in the locker room? Uh, it's pretty crazy, honestly, um, you know. Uh, there's a lot of uh, emotions running through my head, um, you know, just, you know, from where I came and, you know, where this team has come, and, um, you know, those tough days, those tough L's are, you know, the reason that you live for days like this. What's that first, what's that first emotion you know, when you when you saw him last day and you knocked the ball out and everybody's on the field? Yeah, um, I would say just a sigh of relief. Um, you know, just to know that, you know, we, we beat the number six team in the nation and, um, you know, in that fashion that we did. And, um, you know, <clears throat> it wasn't pretty. And, um, you know, just to uh, stay even kill and, and, and come out with a dub is huge. Was well, that the craziest fourth quarter you've been part of? Uh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Did, uh, did Jalen say something to you at, at any point after the game? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we shared a couple words. Um, you know, I pretty much talked to, you know, pretty much everybody on the team. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, he's just telling me how proud he was of me. And, um, you know, we, we both have been through a lot. So, um, you know, there's just a lot of uh, words that were said between us. Where were you at when, you know, you got that drive in the fourth quarter, throwing the interception, but you get another shot? What were you thinking when you got that other shot and it was the second chance? Yeah. Um, you know, I just can't make no more mistakes. Um, you know, there's there's no more room for mistakes in that in that moment. And, um, you know, we just got to drive down and win the game. And that fourth down play and that last drive, just what was going through that play? Oh uh, yeah, you know it's just a play that we run every week. Um, you know, O line made made a, a great job. I mean, a great play and um, you know protecting and um, you know I just had to get the ball to my receiver. Hey, Jason, Lance said that you asked to talk to the team after the game. Is that true? And I guess what you what you say? Uh, yeah, I, I, I did. Um, you know, like I said, like I just told y'all, I've been through so much, and you know, for this team to have my back like they do, and um, you know, for them to allow me to come back and, and be a part of this team this year is, um, you know, that's just kind of what I said to him and. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank them, um, you know, because without them, I wouldn't be here. And, um, you know, I think that's the main thing is that, you know, I'm just proud of being in, in this situation. Why did you want to say something to the teammates? When, when did you make the decision that you were going to say something? Um, right after the life, life ball got done talking, I was standing there with them, and, I mean, I just asked them to say words. So what does the win does like this for the team morale? I mean, this is Kansas. First time beating a top ten team at home since 1984. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know it's huge. You know, like I said, we've we've worked all summer, all spring for this, and um, you know, for moments like this, and uh, you know, we can, we know we can uh, win these games, and um, you know, we came out and did that today. You mentioned that fourth down throw <coughs> was, was Skinner the first read on that the whole way. Um, no, it was actually uh, LJ. Okay. LJ is he was the first read, and um, you know, he ran a good route, got open, and delivered the ball. When did you realize you were throwing to Skinner then? Uh, pretty much right when I snapped the ball. Yeah. Just had to buy enough time to get it because I knew his route was kind of deep and just had to buy enough time just to get him the ball. And th that play, right before that, there's a couple, two quick early runs. Felt like kind of the clock was moving kind of faster. And what's going through your mind when you have to get up to the line real quick? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, there's time was running fast. Um, you know, just in my head, I know I got to make the next play. You know, we don't have much time to, you know, turn the ball back over to them or, you know, give, give them time for anything. So, um, you know, I just had to make the play. Do you think that almost makes it easier not having to like think about like okay this is my first read this is this mm -hmm. you, just, you just go out and play? Uh, yeah I think so a little bit um, you know but like I said it's these plays we run so many times each and every week um, you know you just kind of know what's going to happen in the play and um, you're kind of expecting those things to happen. <clears throat> yeah uh, so what was going through your head when even steps up get a third and out towards the end of the game to get you the ball back what was going through your head on the sideline knowing you're about to go back out there try to win this game? Yeah um you know, just confidence in my head, trusting myself and, and, you know, kind of pepping myself up to get going. Um, you know, it's, it's a huge moment for this team. And, um, you know, I love the way the defense played their asses off today. And, um, you know, I'm very proud of them, too. Were you guys thinking field goal when the drive started that last drive? Or? Uh, no, we were thinking six the whole time. 
you know, being a quarterback, you get the, the two-minute drill, no timeouts, kind of, I feel like what everybody, you know, thinks about as they're growing up and stuff like that, you know, mm -hmm. the nerves going into that, just kind of walk me through what that's like coming on the field right there. Yeah, uh, you know, there really aren't much nerves, um, you know, just being that late in the game and, um, you know, running so many plays and, you know, being hit and stuff like that, but, um, you know, just realizing the moment, um, you know, cherishing the moment, being excited in the moment and, and executing too. Besides this asked already, but just for you, you know, kind of seeing it through this program, but obviously coming this year, you probably had other options, could have gone somewhere else, but you kind of stuck it out with KU with Lance. To get to this moment, obviously there's big games ahead, but it's got to feel pretty good, right? Can you try and put that in the words? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, like I said earlier, you know, this means everything to me, and um, you know, it's not so much the team, uh, you know, or I came back to the team, you know, it was the team having me back, um, you know, and, and I'll, I'll forever be thankful for them and, you know, just how they've welcomed me this whole this whole year and, um, you know, they've had my back countless times and, you know, it just means everything to me. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Jason, how'd you, how'd you get out of there after it was over? Uh, I had two strength guys. They had my back and they were kind of pushing me through everybody. A lot of love? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Walk us through that touchdown run you had. Uh, yeah, you know, it was it was a play that we we weren't originally you know planning on running this week, and um, you know he called it, um, you know the DM bit, and I just took off running as fast as I could. You got pretty emotional after that run. I mean, what was going through your head then? Uh, yeah, you know, just to to make a play like that so big for this for this team, and um, you know, without the other ten guys on the field, I wouldn't have been able to make the play. So you know, I'm just excited for them too, and, and you know, like I said, the whole team. Did that, did that remind you of the Oklahoma State run last year? Same emotion, same kind of. Kind of moment for your team. All right. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, it was one of those moments. Um, you know, just you know, so excited for this team to you know be able to score points and you know just have this team even believe in me more. And, um, and I think that was everything for me.